Hello everyone, this is Dr. Ritika Gaba, your one and only PhD mentor and advisor. As your PhD mentor, I work really hard to give you only and only genuine and well-researched PhD information. However, as your PhD mentor, it is also my responsibility to address all your concerns, worries, misinformation, doubts related to PhD. And I have created today's video to do exactly just that. To be very frank, I had I have created this video after reading a comment from one of my uh, subscribers. So this person had shared a lot of doubts and worries related to the part time PhD program of IIM. I felt that if this person has so many doubts related to the part time PhD program of IIM, there could be many other people who have similar doubts and concerns. So why not address it in a single video? So here I am talking about or rather busting myths related to part time PhD from IIMs. Now this person had doubts, had worries, concerns related to the coursework, the rigor of coursework uh, done by the PhD scholars of IIMs. He was also concerned about the placement opportunity, later on the career opportunity in academics. He was concerned about the significance of the research done by part-time scholars and also about the quality of publications. But the question arises, are these concerns really genuine? or they are the result of some kind of miscommunication and doubts which are taking place. Let us find out in this video. Before we start this video, let me request all of you watching it. Please, if you haven't already, please then do subscribe to our channel. Okay, so um, as I had mentioned that I got the inspiration of this video after reading a comment. So I've taken parts of the same comment where different concerns were shared. I'll be reading out each concern and then addressing them. So let us start with the very first concern, which is related to the coursework done by part-time PhD scholars. So the comment read as, I spoke to a few academicians in management. They have advised me to pursue a full-time PhD since according to them, the rigor of coursework for a full-time PhD program is entirely different from that of a part-time PhD program. The number of credits granted might be the same in both cases, but the academic rigor is not comparable. So to answer this concern, I, am com I completely accept the fact that the rigor of full-time PhD coursework is much more than IIMs as compared to a part-time PhD scholar. But there is a reason logic behind it and we need to understand that. If you would check the profile of the full-time PhD scholars joining IIMs, most of them have little or no work experience and they also come from very different backgrounds. So majority of them are from B.Tech background, engineering, uh, they are from humanities, commerce and other different backgrounds. Now people, students who do not have any or very little knowledge related to management and very little work experience as well. Obviously, they require a lot of rigor. They need to be taught the management subjects properly before they can start their PhD journey in management. Now, let us talk about the part-time scholars joining IIMs. If you would see the requirements of IIMs, they do not allow freshers to join the part-time program. Only and only people who have very rich industrial experience, close to 10-15 years, can join their part-time PhD program. 
so a person who's already done their degree after that they work for 15 20 years and then they come to do a phd obviously we cannot expect them to have give them the same kind of academic rigor and coursework having said that let me add on that many of my students who are already pursuing their part-time phd from iams have shared their experiences and no one says that the coursework is easy in fact they all say that the coursework has kept them on their toes it is quite demanding and challenging and a beautiful learning experience for each one of them so it is definitely not a easy thing to pursue part-time phd course rock from iims okay this was the first concern now let us move on to the second concern which was shared the part-time phd thesis is constructed mainly with implications in the corporate world in mind whereas the full-time phd thesis contributes to the existing academic literature irrespective of its implication on corporate or government policies my dear students there is no concept of academic literature and separate industry literature this is such a big misinformation in management we teach through the case studies based on industries in fact directly teaching theory without taking a real life industry example is frowned upon in all b schools so there is no such concept of separate literature for academics and corporate at the end of the day management institutes are creating managers to work in the corporate world ugc and and different academic institutions are working hard to bring these two worlds together and this is true for phd as well examples like inviting guest lectures to for various uh, teaching various management concepts introduction of professor of practice then the latest thing where HUL has given fellowship to full-time PhD scholars. All these are examples where we can see that how industry and academia are interrelated and not independent of each other. Moving on to a concern number three. The expectation in terms of thesis and publications. For instance, some IIMs mandate a scoopus or publication in a B category journal before graduation. This is more in full-time PhD degrees. So here again, I agree that the expectations of, of a guide from a full-time scholar could be higher. Though it is maybe, I'm not sure, but yes, it is a possibility that it is true because a full-time scholar is spending more time with them, is completely dedicating all their time and energy to do research work. So a guide can have higher expectations from them. But we are only talking about expectations. Nowhere is it said that uh, a guide will stop a part-time PhD scholar from publishing good quality papers or getting patents. If you are keen and if you are ambitious, ambitious enough to do that, please go ahead. Again here I would like to uh, put in some of the experiences which have been shared by my part time scholars in IAMS. They have said that they have been clearly told in the very first year that they need to publish and they need to publish A category or ABDC higher category uh, papers only so to say that the part-time scholars don't have to publish is again seems to be a myth moving on to our concern number four which is a part-time phd might not add the same value for a person seriously interested to pursue an academic career as does the full-time phd so I have been a part of academia for more than the higher education industry for more than 20 years and I have seen multiple people in academics do a part time PhD. In fact, you will be surprised to know that majority people in academics pursue part time PhD. So they teach and simultaneously they pursue a part time PhD and this concept of part time PhD has been going on for decades. Maybe it did not have a defined name then 
therefore we no, do, did not know more about it uh, in the yester years but it is a concept which is going on and therefore many people who pursued part time phd decades back now hold very respectable position in the academia i also know of faculties who are teaching in iims and iit after pursuing a part time phd from different state or central universities so to say that you will not get jobs in academia once you've done a part time phd is definitely a very big miscommunication or a myth you are forgetting that part time phd holders are also working and getting experience simultaneously while they are pursuing their phd and this experience is also quite invaluable also when you are trying to get a job in academia the most important thing that they see is your level of knowledge what kind of research work did you do what kind of publications did you do and um, of course what is your experience but the primary thing is your knowledge if you are able to have good quality knowledge in spite of doing a part time phd then believe me jobs in academia will not be an issue moving on to the last concern which we are going to address in today's video so the last concern relates to placement and it reads as furthermore part time phd students are generally expected to go back to the corporate world and enrich the knowledge base in firms and hence they do not receive the same placement support as a full time phd student so once again uh i have gone through the uh, phd regulations of all iims all iits all other leading institutes in fact many central state universities private universities deemed universities in india and also we have we are doing a rigorous research of phd regulations abroad as well and nowhere in india or abroad have we seen any university mention any kind of placement support to a phd scholar be it full time or part time this is what our observation has been however if there is any one of you is watching this video and has seen on any website where placement support is being provided to a phd scholar please do share it in the comment section below we would love to know about it thank you so much for watching this video but before i end a small disclaimer i am not here promoting part time phd or full time phd i am just here to clear any kind of misunderstanding that is related to it i do not say that part time phd is better than full time phd neither the opposite because both these formats have been approved and mentioned by ugc in the phd regulations of 2022 however whether you should go for part time phd or full time phd totally depends on your past experience your qualification and your reasons to do a phd so kindly do not put this blanket good or bad dedication to part time or full time phd that part time phd is bad and full time phd is good or the other way round it totally depends on your needs and your requirements that which format part time or full time will be better for you and that's the reason that we take a one on one guidance session with phd aspirants anybody who wants to understand more about phd wants our specialized guidance then you can get in touch with us on the number given below thank you so much we meet next week with some more in depth and well researched phd information